Hey, this is Swaggers doing Splinter Cell Conviction on Realistic. We're doing a mostly silent walkthrough here. When Sam came to me for help, I wasn't going to say no. He'd always been more the lone wolf type, and he needed a little reminder on the value of sticking your neck out. After the fun and games at the monument, Sam headed to White Box. The goons who bought the place had already gotten what they wanted out of it and were moving it off site. But he didn't care what they were taking out. He wanted to get in. Not that a double walled EMP containment structure has a lot of back doors. He just needed one. Okay, so you want to head left. It's important to do a takedown on this first guy um, because there's a, you know, it's called the challenge room uh, coming up right after this. Um, it's a good place to get a lot of your PEC challenges done, but uh, you're going to want to have a mark and execute available for that. So do the little double jump here and uh, get in and take this guy out. Oh, right. then let's uh, head inside. So, Vic, how do I get in this box? Look for an industrial air exchanger on the side of the building. Breach it, then go for their security monitoring setup downstairs. Okay, so we're going to go around to the left side of the building and take this pipe up. The camera feeds. Famous last words. And then I went too far here. You actually want to jump on that one. Air unit there. Jump up. And then jump up on the next little unit here. And then we're going to take uh, three sets of pipes up. Okay, and then pull yourself in. We're going to take the pipe up here at the end. Right side. Oh yeah, got another pipe. And then look at that, on the left, another pipe. Okay. Some jumps. Little duck. Small jump. And yes, a pipe. A little jump down. Here we're gonna see the bad guys. Okay, so the room we're coming up to is a very small room right there, the security room. And it has exactly three guys in it. So there's a lot of things you can do. Um, get your under the door mark and execute and then it's saved right there so you can kill them and re redo checkpoint infinitely so it's a lot easier way I like to do kind of crazy stuff You just blow him. Oh no! Back in the go. Boom, boom. Death from above and a double tap. And then you gotta just watch the cameras. Realize. 
Gods that we were for Gallier too. You can't. You just... I just did. Now you got a choice. Get back to work. Who you next? Not this one. He'd hurt the Bravo site. You can have the other as long as it's useful. Finish and start final phase. And the rest of the building. Roll it all back. What? You can't? This is unacceptable. You. Keep pouring death in here working. I gotta clean up to supervise. Rescue the scientists. Okay, so we continue on out the window, drop down. Um, this first guy, I shoot him um, because there's a lot of light, and again, you seem to get caught if you try to take him down. Okay, now we want to hug the left wall. All dead, and then uh, just talk to the scientist here and get on the elevator, and we'll pick it up for part two. Don't kill me. Answer my questions, and we'll see. What are you working on that requires this kind of lockdown? Electromagnetic pulse countermeasure stuff for DARPA, mostly. Or we were. Since Robertson got here, it's been all project driven. Robertson. What's his deal? You mean besides letting Black Arrow take over the lab? He collects all the experimental data and wipes it off the rest of the systems. It's bad for workflow, and only he can see the big picture of what mm. we're working on. What about Lucius Galliard? Where does he fit in? <laughs> He's my boss. The owner of the company, and the guy who hired Black Arrow and Robertson to do security. I'm thinking it might be a good idea to relieve Robertson of that data. Can you get me in? I could get you into the elevator. Good. Do it, then get out. I think I'd rather stay. Some of my friends, they might need my help. Maybe I can... Good luck. <laughs> 